All right, everyone, back with It's All Eats. Guess what we're doing? I'm with Shaq TV, doing, bruh. We're finding Sydney's best snack pack, Halal snack pack, HSP, whatever you want to call it. You love snack packs, bruh? I love snack packs. Beautiful. Love it. We all love snack packs. First stop, we're in Rockdale. Owls smoking barbecue. We heard this place is self-proclaimed the best snack pack in Sydney. We're going to Bankstown after that, TC Brothers. Then we're going to Condor Park for yeah. What's Up Brothers as well. Then we're finishing in Metro One in Ashfield. I didn't expect Ashfield to have mad snack packs. It's not an Arab area, it's a Chinese area, but all of the lists say that they got the gunner snap pack. So we'll see. We'll, we'll see, see, bro. We'll anyway, see. we're that's, starting in rock. That's Oge. That's Oge, lad. Hello, hello. Hey, how you How are you, brother? Good, thank you. But I heard you've got the gunner snack packs in Sydney. They're pretty good. They're pretty good? Uh -huh. Beautiful, brother. We need two. No problem. How, make them however you recommend. Yes, yeah, so barbecue, it... garlic, and chili. Yup. So it's not your average barbecue, garlic, and chili, it's homemade barbecue sauce. I made barbecue sauce and also we have a fermented chili sauce that we ferment here and make. Beautiful. So it's really different. Sounds Meat good. Meat smoked is not cannabinoid. Oh, beautiful. It's awesome. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, Let's two go. of them and I'll grab two drinks. Thank you, brother. The name's a bit concerning because it doesn't have brothers in its name, but uh, look, <laughs> you know, you know, when you have a snack pack, you gotta have like brothers in your name. That's when you know it's like a staple, you know. But I well, didn't I, think of look, that, eh? He's breaking the, the trend. He doesn't need brothers in exactly. his name. Exactly. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Everything is like a speciality. Homemade barbecue sauce, homemade fermented chili sauce, marinated roasted meats, and this and that. So I don't know, brother. This is sounding gun. They say homemade is the best cooking, so. Yeah. Oh, yum. It's like, looks like full shredded, like. Yeah, shredded brisket. Like, this is the sauce that people refer to as Holy Trinity barbecue, garlic, and chili. Mm. Right, I've never had it. My cameraman talks about it all the time. You're gonna own Holy Trinity. I'm like, <laughs> relax, bro. I've never heard of it. We're getting it, all right, cameraman? Right? Sweet? All right, Holy Trinity, here we are. All right, everyone, this episode is brought to you, sponsored by Culture Kings, Gunners Clothes. Have you sussed out Culture Kings? You see me going on about them all the time. There's a good reason, they're gun. Did you know they rock Lacoste? What about gun Lacoste tracksuits? Matching jumper pants. Put a mad order in, I got my woman heaps of stuff. They got mad women stuff there too. Gun Lacoste hoodie, look at this. But they sell the gun clothes, lad. Bro, I put the maddest order in, lad. Of course they got Nike. They got everything, but what's wrong with ya? Look at the quality on them, lad. Gun Lacoste track suits, gun Nike track suits. I think I got these for my little sister, actually. Maxis. Bro, but look at these Jordans, brother. They got all the Jordans there. I done an in-store appearance. There, they had every Jordan. People were frothing them. Brother. What are these? Beautiful, but I told you, Culture Kings. All right, do yourself a favor, hit the link in the description, use code SPANIAN, you get yourself another 10% off. That's it. Beautiful, lovely. Thank you, brother. No, I'm Jade. Thank you, brother. Look at that. Thanks. Look at that. Homemade barbecue, waffle car fries, slow cooked marinated shredded beef. Shut up, bus. Fermented chili sauce. What is normal about this snack pack? Absolutely nothing. I'm gonna have to hit cardio after this. Wow, it's so saucy. Just yeah. how saucy it is. But have you ever had a snack pack and there wasn't much sauce on it? Like, yeah. What's wrong with you? I'll throw it at you. All right, relax. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, bro, right. it stresses me out. Snack we're pack tasting, with not much sauce. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, I can taste the Holy Trinity. <laughs> Wow, the meat. Look, brisket's good. Wow, bro, look at brisket's the meat. Soft. Yeah. Look at the meat. Waffles. Look at the meat, brother. It's full shredded meat. Wow. Waffle, Waffle fries are the best. Waffle cup. I'll get my editor mm. to put it up right now, the price of this. I forgot, I forgot. That's good. Sauce, combination, holy oh, trinity. This is hefty. Waffle cup fries, the beef. Look at that! Oh, nice. Yeah, beef shredded, nice. Look at that, Bama. This is world class beef, us lad. Mm. The chili sauce is unique. It's homemade fermented chili sauce. I love the fact that it's waffle fries. Do you, you yeah. prefer it? Yeah. For me, it's mad that it's waffle fries. I like that it's different. Is it better or is it worse? Neither. They're both good, all right? I'm not gonna say it's better because it's waffle fries. I just like it because it's different. Mm. But then again, if everywhere I went had waffle fries, then when I get the normal ones, I'd be like, yeah, normal fries. Mm. You know mm. what it's like. Yeah. But the flavor's gone. This is right. a mad quality snack pack. Yeah, it is. But how often do you get a snack with the meat, bro? I can't get over it. Brisket oh, meat. Very get over it, bro. It's like an American style, you know? How am I gonna, I'm eating this whole thing. 
By the time I get to Tay Say Brothers, I'm done. Mm. The the chili in the chili sauce is non-existent. Yeah, I don't like. Usually, I'm not a Would you fan know of chili, but I can like this is like. Yeah, I'm a nothing. chili goat. Uh, you're probably gonna laugh by the time this comes out. I burnt I burnt my mouth ten times in the chili chicken wings episode. <laughs> but I'm a chili goat, right? I love chili. Yeah, there's, there's no chili yeah. in this. Yeah, there's nothing. The homemade chili tastes nice, but don't expect it to be hot. You may like that. You may not like that. It's more of like a barbecue chili. I don't know. No. Like a tomato chili. I don't know. But uh, meat's good. I think this is unfair to start here because we're about to go to a places. They got normal kebab meat, and we're getting brisket shredded mm. meat. You know what I mean? Unfair comparison, but it is what it is, brother. The game's the game. I hate these forks, though. These yeah. bamboo forks, man. I think it's because it's starting to rain. Oh, that was water. I yeah, thought a rain. bird. I thought a bird <laughs> shit. Before what do you reckon becomes... about this one? It's gun. good. It's gone. It's gone. It's, it's gone. It's, it's, it's really good. Yeah. The brisket's nice. The sauces yeah. are good. The chili could be a bit more, you know, tangy. It's but, but the waffle fries is. Well. But we haven't got a comparative point. We're starting here. Yeah. By the next one, we'll know if it's better or worse. Mm. I'll let my cameraman finish this because he's licking his lips. That's <laughs> I know you're starving, bro. <laughs> All right, second spot, TC Brothers, Bankstown. Let's cut, let's go, bro. What road's this? Uh, Canterbury Road. Canterbury Road, yeah. You know what? I always see this place on the corner. Oh, beautiful. I'm looking for the best snack packs in Sydney, Please brother. You're on the list. You're on the list, right? Yeah, yep. two snack packs, please. Yep. However you recommend, you make it for us. What do you like? Beef or chicken or mix? Right, mixed. Mixed. Yeah, mixed. Beautiful. Whatever, man. Two cans. Two yeah, cans of drink. Yeah, please. Thank you. And whatever sauce you recommend. Whatever sauce? Yeah, whatever sauce. Whatever, whatever's... Do my way? Do your, your way. way. Yeah, your way. That's how I want to see it. Well, this place has brothers in its name, so it's already got my attention. I want to see how he does it. I'm leaving it up to them every time they ask. How do I want it? I said, you tell me how to put it. You tell me what people get the most, you know what I mean? One day he puts the holy trinity like the other place. Hopefully it's got more kick. I should just stand on the side of the road and face the road, see how many reactions I get. <laughs> I try and hide everywhere and they just, they still, they know it's me. Yeah. They look at the back of my head, oh, oh, like that, bro. Coke Zero or Pepsi Max? I don't drink soft drinks. Oh, no way! Yeah. Give it here, what's wrong with you? He <laughs> takes it being polite, doesn't drink but soft drinks. But he just, drinks. he hands it to me and I'm like, oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> what am I gonna do with this? <laughs> I've got a bad Coke Zero addiction. It's my only addiction, lad. Everyone misses has it too. Like, if we don't have one in the day, by night time, it's like, fuck, bro. I'm gonna go eat at a restaurant just to get a Coke Zero. We can't eat at home. We have to go just sting it for a Coke Zero. The sauce getting drizzled. Really? See a chili, chili sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. This one's loaded. Is it? <laughs> this one's loaded. Well, we should have went halves in these. Look at the size of it. This is my week's food here. Hey, go on, brother. Go on, go on. Right, let's go. This thing man. is like. I oh, know, they're so heavy. I wonder if they had sizes there. Oh, these this size is so unnecessary. Ill Che, too. They go out their back door, so. They're gonna, they might be spying to hear our reactions. <laughs> this, it's so big, lad. The fork gets lost, look at that. This is Holy Trinity as well. This is Holy Trinity as well. Chili barbecue, this and that. Garlic. The cheese as well. Hey, Dumba. It's a, all right, brother, see you later. Here's our Spanish reaction. This tastes to me like a completely normal snack pack in every single way. It tastes like every single snack pack that I've ever had in my life. I'm neither saying it's bad or good. I don't know how it comes up in the list of best snack pack. It's just very, like a simple snack pack that you get in Sydney. That's it. Anywhere. Yeah, yeah anywhere. Like it, it's just, yeah. I, I just, I don't, I don't even see nothing, nothing about the chips, nothing about the sauce, nothing about the seasoning, nothing about the meat, nothing about the presentation is any different from any kebab store in the world. I just don't understand. I don't know how this was on the list. I don't know. I did get the price, $44 for these two snack packs and two drinks. So two drinks, $2 each. The snack packs are about 20 bucks. There's more kick on the chili. That's about it compared well, to the other one. It's the normal it's chili the normal, sauce. It's the normal chili it's sauce. It's the normal Master Foods barbecue chili sauce. It's normal chips. Look at that size. <laughs> it's normal meat. The size is big. The size is big. Nothing to say really. It's not really special in, in any way. Just completely normal to me. I don't even know what else to say. Nothing else. Can't talk it down, I can't talk it up. 
like I said, if I lived next door to it, would I go to it? Yeah, I would. Would I drive a suburb for it? No, no, I wouldn't. Sorry, but I wouldn't. Nothing like the last place. Yeah, last was different. The last was like unique. The bloke um, smoking elms, you can see he had a mind to be different. He wanted this to be unique, he wanted this. This is just like the template. If you open a kebab store, this is what you do. You name it brothers something, <laughs> and this is what you give him. That's it. You know what I think is happening here? Because I'm asking you, I asked you, where's the best snack packs? I always ask my audience, right? And these are your top rated places. So what I think is happening here, because I'm trying to work out how this place made it to the top of anyone's list. And what I think is people are really biased. So they just say the place that's near their house that they go to and they just make out it's the best in the world. And that's what's happening here. I think this place is popular in the area of Bankstown. It's, it's, it's in a good location and people come here. I think that's how it come up on the list. But if you were genuinely basing it on the quality of the food, it's not on the list, sorry. Where are we off to next? Condor Park. Condor Park? What's up brothers, Condor Park? This has got mad wraps. I'm expecting a lot from this place, all right? Let's ouch. Get that one. The Sauge, anyway. Here we are. What's up, brothers at Condor Park? Brother, let's continue the show before I turn soccer room. Go. You don't want me starting, brother. Send it, send it. I'll show you. Beef kebab plate, chicken kebab plate, what's lamb kebab plate. I'll get a mix. I'll get a mix. Take away. Is it the what's up box? Oh, is it the what's up box? Yeah, I think it's chips in. Your choice of any meat chips. Oh, it is it the is, what's it up is, box. It is. 20 bucks. Right. What am I talking about, kebab plate? We're doing snack packs, not kebab plates. Yeah, you've already relax. done the kebab, mate. Yeah. Already... <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah. Can I get two what's up boxes, please? That's all, brother. $17 is the price of the snack pack. They call it a, a what's up box. $17 for it, which I think is about the same price as the last place we went because that was. Yeah, it was the same price. It was a 44 yeah. for two. 44 for but two, we didn't but get drinks. A drink. yeah, but yeah, drinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it was a dollar dear at the last place. It would have yeah. been like 18 each. This one's 17. So you know what? You know what I'm starting to think, bruh? I won't pass judgment just yet. But you know what I'm thinking? People are basing how good these kebab stores are on their location. This is what I'm starting to think. All right, look, I won't prejudge. This place might be gun. But as far as I can see, it's in a really good location with a car park. This reminds me of Canterbury Kebabs in Canterbury. Best place in the world, I think. It's the location. Look at the last place we went to. Mm. TC. TC Brothers. It's the location. Car park next to it. Right? So I'm going to wanna see, but, but I'm not going to make that judgment yet, you know? But I'm starting to find the thing with the, the location, with the popularity, you know what I mean? It's more convenience as it is opposed to actual... Low-key places, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Where's the Tigers? Look, 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 there's Tigers. Gotta to, got to rip the Tigers on the Spaniards channel, mate. Up the Tigers. Premiers 2023? I think so. He doesn't know. Shh, roosters. <laughs> <laughs> they got the full charcoal going. Yeah. They got the kebab spinning. They got the grill working. Yeah, they yeah. got the pizza oven on. Yeah, they've got everything cracking here. That might attribute to their popularity. So people might not just be going for like the yeah. snack pack here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not be the best thing. There could be the pizza that's the best thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never know. Yeah. We're comparing snack packs. But that, no excuses, no disclaimers. Snack packs must be on point. Brother, let's cut. Let's oh, 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 yeah. yeah, 43. Yep, oh, 43. Let's cut. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Here, I'll get, I'll, I'll eat it here. I just, I just like to eat where the people aren't hovering. You get what I mean? They're not hovering. And here, it seems like we're out of earshot. There you go, look at that. Not too much sauce. Well proportionalized. This is what I'm thinking straight off the bat. I'm gonna taste a piece of meat before I talk. Mm. This, oh bro. This is, I'm not saying nothing, but I'm gonna eat it first, all right? <laughs> It's much more chilly. <laughs> this is a completely normal kebab plate, bro. I don't know if I'm annoyed or surprised. I am surprised and I am annoyed on both of those. I'm surprised and annoyed why you've carried on like this. This is the best this, this is... What, what, please tell me what the difference is between this and any kebab shop in the world. Excuse me, but what is the difference? Yeah, meat's a bit boring. I mean, there's no real special flavor or anything like that compared to the other ones. 
at least, you know, with the first one we went to, it was a brisket. It's much better, better flavor, tender. Um, I, there's more kick in the sauce in this one. It seems like everywhere we go, the further and further. I don't know, for me it is, but yeah, I don't know. It's just, uh, yeah, it's quite average playing. We had the same thing four minutes ago. Why did I have to drive to Conville Park to eat this? I could have had this in Wycombe, Canterbury, Petersham, Mariful, Dulwich Hill, mm. Campsie, Lakemba. I could have had this on George Street in the city. Could have had this at Broadway Shopping Centre. In fact, the ones at Broadway are better. Mm. Yeah, it's quite plain. I don't know. That's that done. Oh, yeah. Hey, Doom, bro. Doom. How can people genuinely say, you should go here, they're mad. You should go there, they're mad. I'm so confused. It's, I'm almost annoyed. It is just like, just think of it like this, bro. If there is a template, kebab meat, chips, and sauce that you get, that's what it is. Every kebab store in Australia has that. Brother, that's, anyway, that's it, brother. The, watch we go to Metro Kebabs and they do the same thing. Please, be something unique, something slightly different, or some type of jump in quality about Metro Kebabs. Otherwise, like, I'm giving up on the whole kebab scene. Boys, ladies and gentlemen, whatever, we're at the last place. Metro One Kebab in Ashfield. Let's suss it out, bro. You know what we're doing, looking for snack packs. Hopefully this is the one. Yeah. Hopefully. Something different. Bit of flavor. I don't know. We'll see. Hey. See that? Hey, how are you? Good, mate, how you going? Good. Can I get one snack pack, brother? Make it however you want to make it. I'll leave it up to you. No problem, bro. Beautiful. I've been here once, I think. Yeah? Yeah. Ages ago, though. I don't even remember, remember yeah. it. So, my taste buds have changed since 10 years ago. So, we'll see. That's how long ago I was, 10 years ago? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I was still doing parkour. Oh, really? Yeah. We you used to here. do parkour? You used to do parkour, yeah. yeah mad. There was a place in Chilora, I think. There was like a massive gathering there. What, like a parkour gathering? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like at a center there. Oh, yeah? And then we all came here and uh, got a massive box. Is parkour still a thing? Yeah, it's grown heaps. Has it? Yeah. It's bigger than before. It's bigger than before, bro, yeah. I, I haven't heard everyone that Everyone does word. it, bro. I haven't even heard the word in like three, four years, parkour. Yeah, bro, it's, it's massive. Like, everyone does it. Little kids, women, bro, older people, younger people. It's mad, bro. Like, I... Obviously, responsibilities got in the way and I wasn't going to be a professional, but it was a good hobby to have as a kid. You, you know? can be professional. Sponsored by Red Bull, man. No way. Yeah. That's crack up, lad. Yeah. Good to do runners, this, that. It's a good yeah. skill to have. Imagine you know? copping a chase and just parkour and everything, just off buildings, <laughs> over fences. Uh, I did that. Coppers in Germany, in Germany, I was like... Oh, did you? Yeah, I'll tell you off camera, but yeah. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll tell you what <laughs> <laughs> Well, lucky I said one. Well, it's for a wedding. I'm taking this home after we've done the taste test. That's a family feast, man. Yeah. Oh my God, bro. It's like a birthday cake. All right, brother. <laughs> Thank you, eh? There's about three, four kilos here, snack pack. Hey, spinning out, where do I walk? What's going on? They're filming a pizza box with snack packs in it. I'm lost. I'm Ojin. We've got to find a posse, lad. We've got to find a mad Aussie pay. There, boom, boom seats. Oh. We're going home with wet anuses. Bro, what is this? What is this? <laughs> Bro. Oh, he's melted the cheese. The other one wasn't melted. The nah, so what he's kebabs. done, what he's done, he's put chips, then heaps of cheese and melted it like a pizza. Come back and put chips on top of it. Look in, look in what I mean. Come here, bunny saw. See what I mean? Then put chips and then put all the meat on top. Onions and mushrooms fried up. Let's go, at least he's being different. Yeah. Different ingredients. There's a different flavor. Yeah. You can already tell. There is a different flavor. There's a different flavor in the meat. Yeah. It's seasoned differently. Straight off the bat, I'll get into the details of it. I appreciate that it tastes different straight off the bat, mm. all right? There's thought in it. Even at my peak hunger, the, uh, there's no way I would eat more than half of this. No way. Kick to the sauce. It's not like homemade master foods chili. Not too much sauce, so it doesn't overpower anything. Oh, like onions, onions, oh, onions, really? onions, yeah, oh. onions. That's what you need. All right, I'm ready to give a conclusion. This one, 
although it's using the same meat as all the other places they're essentially using the same chips the same sauces and the same meat as all the other places okay there's nothing specific there but they've had enough creativity to say i'm gonna do something different and i'm gonna fry onions and mushrooms in a flavored oil it does have a unique flavor i don't know what it is but you can taste it and i'm gonna add that to it to be a bit different so i'll award them for that right and for that reason they're gonna be second place First place, this is to me by far, would you agree, is smoking house yeah, barbecue? Yeah, first place By far. Completely different. By far. Completely different. What they've done is they've changed the chips, they've changed the meat. The meat there was ridiculous. They've homemade the sauces, like that is leading by so far, mm. right? The other three places I have an issue with, all right? Sydney, aren't we supposed to be like, you know, mad kebabs, this and that? All of these places you're telling me, they just have, <laughs> Like, what is that? What Condor Park and Bankstown, if you're making snack packs and you want to stand out, you want to say this place has snack packs, what are you basing it on? There has to be some type of creativity. Something has to be better. Something has to be different. Something has to be unique. And none of them places have any of that. They're literally like snack pack 101. This place added mushroom and onion that made it better instantly. That puts it into second place. Out of Condal Park and Bankstown, what's third and fourth? Oh, I have no idea. No idea. You can't no separate idea. them. I wouldn't even I, I, I wouldn't <laughs> even say what's the difference between no. Condal Park and Bankstown. Yeah, no, no I couldn't difference. couldn't even tell the difference. Only so. this, probably like the size of the thing. That's it. Yeah, one was heavier than the other. Yeah, yeah, that's one was it. heavier than yeah. the other. So they're, they're, they're third and fourth. And anyway, that's... I don't know. Do you have a different summary than to me than that? No, that's it. I think Sydney, yeah, just has to change their way of like, if you want to be different, you got to do like something different. Your meat has to be different. The chips have to be different in some sort of way, you know? Yeah. So I don't know, your sauce has to be different. Maybe the Holy Trinity isn't it anymore. Like maybe you just do something else. Maybe try a different do flavor. Something. I don't know, something different. Like if you're not going to change your meat, if you're not going to change your chip, if you're not going to even try an attempt of being unique with sauces, if you're not going to add an ingredient, then what? What are you doing? Yeah. Bring what are you else doing? To the table. Bring I don't know, else, bro. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not that impressed as a whole. I'm not mm. that impressed with Sydney's best snack packs. The Rockdale one was gone. That's all I'm going to say. Mm. This ain't a paid advertisement by them. They won fair and square, so I'll give them, I'll, I'll say that fair and square. It was very American style as well. So maybe try and like use different cultures and interpret well, dude, look, it to like bro, a snack pack. Why doesn't know. someone put tzatziki on it? Yeah. Why doesn't someone change the meat? Like do something. There's different types of cheeses. Why you all got to use the same cheese? Use a mix of different cheeses. Use flavor infused cheeses. Change the cut of the chip. Use French fries, use waffle chips. Do something. But if you're not doing something, wake up to yourself. I'll give you a backhand, pa, lad. <laughs>